All right, so I'm currently in Berkeley. Hi, I'm Will. I spent my 20s living in a boring area with not much to do. And so I decided to pack up and travel the world through Airbnbs while working a remote job. I was willing to do whatever it took to live a more fulfilling and enriching life. Join me on my adventure, turmoils, trials and tribulations. If this is your first time ever visiting California and the San Francisco, Berkeley area, you're in luck because I'm going to share with you my first experience and learning a lot of this on the fly so that you can potentially save some time. For me, I took a ferry, as you can tell, uh, from uh, Mill Valley, which is where I'm staying. This is actually uh, about a good ways north of San Francisco. You have to take a ferry that's anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to get there. And uh, if you wake up earlier, you can get a quicker ferry. They have a lot of scheduled times. So I just learned the hard way that it's probably best to uh, choose the times and make sure you arrive early so you don't miss the ferry departing. The views are spectacular. You get to see the Bay Bridge and uh, the cityscape uh, if you go on this ferry. It reminded me a lot of the Staten Island Ferry. So I highly recommend it if you do ever get the chance to come along this area. Now, once you get close to the city of San Francisco, um, then you have to take a uh, metro to Berkeley. Um, there's a lot of cool views like this right outside the ferry terminal and uh, the metro, the Embarcado, is literally only like a two minute walk away. So you go down just like you would in the New York metro and then you get in your seat and go there. Uh, Berkeley is about uh, 20 minutes away. You will get off at the Berkeley stop. I'm going to check it out, get a feel for it. Um, it's nice. It has this like cafe feel to it. At Berkeley, I ate at this udon noodle place, which was actually relatively uh, reasonably priced. You could get a, a good bowl for 10 to $15, which I wasn't expecting in California. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. I mean, there's ramen stations, but this is an udon station. I really liked it. And then from there, I checked out a local museum in Berkeley. Now this museum, it was pretty empty except for the student attendants who just stood there and made sure you didn't touch the artwork. And uh, it was just, it had a lot of really big exhibits, reminded me of uh, various abstract exhibits uh, on the East Coast and uh, especially in DC, I would say. Um, I felt kind of bad for the attendants because I felt like the museum was a bit overstaffed with attendants and they were just so bored standing there but they signed up for it, so that's their problem, I guess. Then I went ahead and toured the uh, Berkeley campus. Um, they actually had these giant llamas there. I think they're normal size, but to me, they were giant. I didn't know they got so big. Um, and they bring them there for uh, student stress. I mean, I'm used to hearing about maybe a puppy or a dog, but uh, llamas it brings an extra touch. Then I checked out a uh, Asian bakery nearby. I mean, this place is stacked with all sorts of food and, and boba spots and uh, cafes. And I honestly feel like UC Berkeley is a pretty good campus. They even have this giant record store with vinyl and CDs and DVDs here. Um, it's probably better than many campuses in terms of all the uh, things nearby. I mean, my campus, no one really went off campus. And if they did, it was to like a Chipotle or that one Chinese restaurant. Um, there also were some trendy bookstores and cool looking hotels. So really not a bad place to uh, go to school. 